telesales is really unique when it comes to face to face and a lot of different fronts and people really, they either aren't aware of it or they severely discount it. And so I think these kind of fundamental things that we're talking about in fr up front, while they're not directly about selling, they really are important to have the right mindset up front about, because if you don't get this right, then the stuff becomes a distraction or even an obstacle from performance. So we want to make sure that this stuff is, is really handled well. So this gets to the next setup, which kind of has a, 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 a interweaving with the last setup, which is the workflow setup. Sometimes working at home, you don't have the same mindset to go to work and in, in really in the same environment as you would face to face. So one thing that's really important is as you guys gear up and start to sell remotely, and most of you are remotely selling from home, most of us are, is to think and consider about your environment, okay? About the distractions like I talked about, the potentialities for them. How can you set yourself up in a way to where your entire focus is on dialing the next number and when people say hello, that you're totally dialed into helping the person on the other end of the line? Because this business requires intense, higher than average levels of focus than what most of us give everyday tasks. So by being at home and having distractions constantly, that just deteriorates focus, right? We only have so much bandwidth to handle things. So consider things like what Melissa did. Uh, she now works out of a co-op, okay? I, co I don't know, it's like co-op workspace. You can clarify it for me, Melissa. You guys know what I'm talking about probably, where she physically goes to an office, physically has some kind of office workspace or you know room to go into. She's around other people who are working and can now put in the effort to make the dials in a less distracted way than what she had experienced working out of her own home, okay? This is important. But Dave, I want to work from home. I don't want to go anywhere. I get it. But there's this level of discipline that most people don't recognize you really, really need to have working from home that you necessarily just, you know, took for granted selling in person. Okay. So another thing I remember an agent of mine did, he literally built a, a she shed or a he shed, whatever it's called, you know, out back, like a separate space to where he leaves his house. He walks about 10, 15 feet to this shed and it's his workspace. It's heated. He's got his computer and internet out there. And he's literally physically separated from his workspace or from his living space, excuse me, because that's what he had to do in order to stay focused and to stay on task. Okay. So very, very important. Um, and along those lines, like I already mentioned, but bears repeating, you have to make sure that your family understands the boundaries of work between uh, you being at home and then you being at home working, okay? They need to respect that. Just because you're here doesn't mean that you can be interrupted at any time to handle menial tasks that don't require an immediate attention, okay? So again, this is all the kind of adjustments we've had to do with the lockdowns and a lot of us working from home anyway, but you have to be intentional about this because even when everything's set up correctly, you're sitting in front of a computer, you're literally on YouTube, and a couple of clicks away, you can avoid the pain of being told no for the hundredth time, and then go watch a video with me or something or something else, right? And we want to avoid that. I love you watching me. I do. But I also love you getting results. And I care more about that than me uh, and my view count. You need to be cared about caring about what you're doing for your family and thinking about these things. Um, and setting up these intentional boundaries. Again, a lot harder to do that and get as easily distracted out the door than it is in person. Like, it sounds crazy, but your focus is everything when it comes to your success. And if it's disseminated, if it's reduced, if it's distracted, they're going to hear that on the phone. You're not going to have the same level of discipline. So you have to be intentional about setting up these boundaries. The need to have a private space like an extra bedroom at home, getting dressed each day and being okay with limited personal connections with others key. Jeff, thank you so much for bringing this up. This is another difficulty that needs to be broached when you're doing telesales. Gone are the days where you get to go to work and pal around with all your friends and coworkers around the water cooler. You are now on your own. Yeah, you're talking to people all day, but it's this weird, uh, you know, non-personal approach where you're just talking to voices. You're not seeing people constantly, right? So if you're 
If you're an introvert like me, you love it. You don't care. It doesn't make a difference. But if you're an extroverted, if you have some extroversion tendencies, then what you'll find is it gets fairly lonely uh, when you are dialing and you're in your home all by yourself, you know, and the walls are coming in, right? So what's the solution? So we initiated this and I, I, I listened to my people, my agents. Uh, Melissa was one of them, Chris, a couple others, Ryan, a new agent with us. They all mentioned a Zoom room. Guys, if you joined the Ford Insurance Group, um, we have a Zoom room where you can pop on and, and can com communally call together, listen to each other's successes, talk with other agents. It is a great remedy to overcome a lot of the isolation that you get by selling remotely. Um, but if you're working somewhere else, guys, and you don't have a Zoom room or some way to actually enter, engage with other agents in your agency, suggest your managers, coaches, mentors, recruiters, tell them to set up a Zoom room. It's really easy. It takes like five minutes. They just create a separate link in, in the meeting rooms and they share that. You can set it up to where they don't have to be there to even host it. And then everybody can just jump in there together and it helps foster, again, relationships. And then if you're running into troubles, you can bring somebody on the mic to listen or talk about it, or you, you can share the audio so other people can listen to. This is something I wish, and it's so obvious. I look back, I'm like, oh, stupid, Dave. We didn't start this until the last couple of weeks. But I wish I would have started this years ago because I think the Zoom room has the capability of upping your energy, upping your discipline, uh, your enthusiasm for the business, and really helping facilitate more sales and helping more people.